The third thing I decided to do, I decided to learn to cook. I've lived off ready meals and toast for far too long, and I thought, I've got a nice kitchen now. Maybe I should learn to cook. And I'm learning. It's going quite well. I don't always know the right words for things. I, can't, I couldn't remember the word marinate recently when I was trying to describe a recipe to my friend that I'd had a go of. I said, look, then you get the chicken. It's dead straightforward. Get the chicken. You put some olive oil on it. Uh, then you get some lemon thyme. You put that in with it, and you cover it and leave it in the fridge overnight to fester. <laughs> I was in a, a cafe a few months ago with one of my friends. She's the sort of person who prefers savoury over sweet. I don't really know why we're still friends. <laughs> She's nice enough. She ordered a carrot cake, and I was thinking a carrot cake is such an abomination of a cake. It's like it's got veg in it. Fuck off. <laughs> Some people choose to put dates and nuts in it. You think, you're just removing all of the cake aspects. What you've got there is a shitty pasty. <laughs> So she ordered a carrot cake, added a slice of strawberry cheesecake. On top of her carrot cake was some icing and then a slither of something orange coloured for decoration, I suppose. And I said to her, is that a bit of carrot? Fair assumption of being carrot cake. And she had a little nibble of it and she went, no, it's not carrot. I said, is it orange then? She said, no, it's not orange. I said, well, I'm all out of orange coloured things. <laughs> Unless it's the tail of a goldfish, I've got no idea. <laughs> She had another nibble of it, and she said, I think it's apricot. I said, oh, I can't have apricot. She said, why not? I said, I'm allergic to it. She said, ooh, what happens to you? <laughs> I said, ooh, I get the shits. <laughs> and she said, is it really bad? I said, oh, yeah, it was like a chocolate fountain down there. <laughs> and she said, was that just off one? I said, no, no, I had a bag of them. <laughs> said, how many was in the bag? I said, I don't know, maybe 40. <laughs> and it was only as I was telling her that I realised I'm not allergic to apricots. <laughs> I'm allergic to 40 apricots. <laughs> but I was on holiday with my sister last year, and I don't get to see my sister often enough, and it was lovely to have a week together, just the two of us. It was really nice. And at the end of the week, she said something to me that I'll always hold dear. She said, it wasn't until I spent a week with you that I realised how many meals you can have in a day. But <laughs> she had mistakenly thought that you had breakfast and lunch, or you had brunch. And <laughs> no. <laughs> breakfast, brunch, elevens is lunch. <laughs> Afternoon tea, proper tea, dinner, supper. <laughs> elevens is. And then a midnight snack that can last anything up to eight hours. <laughs> and a Milky Way whenever the fuck you like. <laughs> but I've got a friend who's uh, really good at cooking and baking, and she, she, I was on the phone to her, she was showing off a little bit. She knows some random food facts, and she said, uh, did you know that sugar is a preservative? I said, ooh, I'll live forever then. <laughs> She said, no, you'll probably die quite young, but you won't go off for ages. <laughs> but she said to me, if you want to learn to cook, why don't I just come and stay for the weekend and I'll teach you some basics? And I thought, actually, it's a really good idea. She said, do you mind if before I come, if I email you a list of things I think you should have in your store cupboard? I've never called it my store cupboard in my life. It's always been the bean cupboard, because that's where I keep my tins of beans. <laughs> but I was a good girl. I got everything in that she suggested. I ordered it online. I'd never ordered food online for delivery before. If you've never done it, give it a go. It's amazing. I typed it into a computer, and a man brought it to the house. <laughs> Some of you are looking at me like, fuck off. It's real. <laughs> typed it into a computer. Somehow a fella got the message, who had a van, <laughs> and some food. And he brought it. You're not taking it seriously. A man brought food to my house. It was like being in a restaurant, but I didn't have to have a bra on. <laughs> Bit like Nando's then. <laughs> Thanks for watching. You know what would be great? My brand new show, Bobby Dazzler, is out now and available exclusively on my website, sarahmillican.co.uk. Put the kettle on and settle in.